Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this Ryobi OnePlus cordless rotary tool. This is advertised as a skin only device which means that batteries and chargers are sold separately. In my case I have a Ryobi OnePlus inflator kit and it comes with this stock standard battery. Very minimal capacity but I'll use this to test this device later. Before we go right ahead with the unboxing, let me just show you what's printed on the box. So we've got a few accessories there, but in the back of the box, you'll see you have the main device, which is a variable speed dial for versatility in different applications. It's got onboard storage for accessories and a flexible shaft pen, and it comes with a 33 piece accessories. So. Let's go right ahead and unbox it. Um, okay. Very tough. I'll set that aside. Okay, um, you got your usual instruction manual, basic information, basic setup. We'll set that aside and um, review that for later. This one appears to be the um, accessory toolbox. Comes with this nice, um, oh, a nice sort of um, plastic container. Um, it's just like a sanding thing and yeah. now I'm, I'm not a, um, an avid hobby enthusiast so this is the first rotary tool that I am purchasing and really bought this because I've got a Ryobi um, cordless inflator so I thought well um, so I don't have to buy another, uh, a different type of battery for a different type of um, product. I, I, I thought I might as well um, buy, you know, buy into the uh, Ryobi ecosystem. So I set that aside. Now this is what made me choose to buy the battery uh, operated one instead of the corded one. Uh, because the actual the actual shaft is thinner than the corded one so this will provide better grip and uh, better handling when using this uh, the corded one has a thicker shaft um, so much more difficult to hold so hopefully I made the right choice um, and it's fair length um, fair length uh, sh shaft set that aside and then the main thing is the actual motor so probably and you'll see that the actual shaft is um, the actual end of the shaft is has a, some sort of a hex shaped shaft there of course so it's to drive the, the actual motor so it comes it sort of um, Touches there. Um, might need to wiggle that up. And connect. So this is me not reading anything in the instruction. Um, let's go right ahead and attach the battery. So make sure it's in the off position. And then connect that up. This. Uh, so I've got minimum speed. Turn it on. You can see it's really spinning really slow. And then so let's 
let's go right ahead and connect this pen holder. Um, so it just uh, there's a groove on the side, so just um, slide it in until it clicks. And then you can then rest the shaft onto that pen holder like so. Okay, so now we're gonna attempt to connect one accessory. Now, the reason why I bought this rotary tool is I'll be um, cutting, cutting a, um, I'm doing this for my dash cam install project. So I'm not sure what tool I can use. Probably that is the tool to cut through the plastic. But so I'm gonna check how that can be installed. So according to instruction, I have this and I need to find that tool, which I think is probably this thing with the red tip. No, it is, it is this. And I'll need to unscrew that. And then there's uh, there are two washers and then I'll sandwich the um, this grinder piece in between. So let's go right ahead and do that. They're not screwed in really tight, so there it is. We've got a really tiny. Okay. Okay. It's a bit tricky. But insert it there. So I've sandwiched two red washers and then gonna screw that in and then use this um, screwdriver to tighten it push push this lever and and loosen the, the head because if you don't push this it, the whole shaft will rotate so push that in, push that up and then turn it counterclockwise to loosen that up once it's loose push that in turn it clockwise and that's it. So to test, let's see. Okay, so let's go right ahead and test cutting something. So this is cardboard. I'm gonna, this is minimum speed. That was the car cardboard. Um, move, let's let's now try this plastic. Now this plastic piece came from the dashboard of an X5 E53. So when I did this, I had to melt through the plastic because at that time I didn't have a rot rotary tool like this. So now I'm gonna try if um, it's actually sturdy. It's really tough. So now I'm gonna try if this rotary tool can cut through this plastic. So let's um, set that up. So same attachment. Um, the medium speed. Um, see if I can Whoa.
Okay, so how did that cut seem to yeah, cut it nice and clean? Didn't have any problem, but I find that you really need to hold on to to the piece that you're cutting because um, this sort of um, moves around, so you have to be really, really sturdy. Um, you don't want to accidentally cut your finger. Um, so yeah, that, that didn't, um, didn't that wasn't much of a problem. Um, now a true test. We'll see. I've got this metal piece. Now I really need to be careful with this. I'm probably um, do that. did scratch it a bit and then finally an ultimate test you can probably use this to remove some of the minor curb brush and that's what I'm gonna do now let's go try it out so I'll set it to medium speed turn it on That's feathered the dust, feathered the, the scratches a bit. And that's what it did to the sanding disc. And then we'll use this, um, some sort of buffing attachment. It's a felt like material to let's hopefully maybe just uh, buff off some of those imperfections. dust all over. It's, um, it's a um, clean cloth. Just 
off it off. something maybe this is another the next DIY project I'll use this rotary tool to remove this curb rash I'll probably get another attachment a finer grit sanding disc maybe I can attach it to this Let's see whether there's one available hopefully there is um, because um, the wheels on my pillar also has a lot of curb rash which I want to fix as well so I'll try it out on the C200 and if I'm happy with the result that I'll try to do it on the Pilar watch this space that's the end of the video everyone thanks for watching if you like the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification icon so you don't miss any of my future updates Thanks for watching, until next time.